Hello everyone, welcome to Field World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwarya Saxena, and in the series of Python programming, this was the last lecture, this was the last program which we did. Now, today I am going to tell something more in the array module. So, let's start. So, Pro 99 creating a new file here for you and removing all the files which you have been in the last video. I hope you have watched the previous lecture. If you have not gone through the previous lectures, I recommend to go that don't go there and watch them and come back to this one. If you want to deal with characters in the array, so what can we do? Let's import array module and I am just taking vals equals to array. So we are creating one array first of all. And here if you are going to work with the integer values, so you have to use i, but if you want to work with Character, so you have to take U. U stands for unsigned char. Suppose I am taking here A, E, I, O, U. These are just the value, uh, like values. This U and this U do not have any like uh, relation between them. These are two different things. This is denoting the data type, and this is denoting the, it's just the value of the array, element of the array. So you can just print it directly, print vals. Now you can use the loop as I have discussed it in the previous lectures. It's coming like this. If you want to print it with the help of loop, you can do that also. For i in range of vals directly, you can just print i. So let's print it. Okay, it's saying uh, for i in range vals. So line number three it's okay 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 fine <laughs> I made the mistake actually we do not have to use the range when we are using vals so like if we are directly giving the name of the array we do not have to use the range data type okay range is also a data type only okay you can see all the values which were in the array are here now so this is the way of accessing uh, like using the characters so I hope this is clear to you in the next video we will be seeing that how we can make copy of one array to another. For this I am just keeping till here. I hope you like the video. Like it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.